we have these um, these radio buttons, right? And we like to make sure that we can, you know, um, bind the value of these radio buttons so that you know to some model in uh, in Angular so that you know we can maybe run some logic behind it, right? So so for instance in the in the um, in the uh, true false, what we could do, right? We could we could keep track of the answer that you selected, right? So for instance, this might be answer, and we might give it an initial value of uh, blank, right? Uh, and so in the HTML, we could give a, we could give value to each input field. Right? We can say that the value here is yes or true. Uh, and this, the value of this would be would be false, right? Um, and then, and then, uh, and then what we'd like to be able to do is is a uh, is map this to this to this um, to this answer here, so that this answer can either be uh, either true or false. Right? So right now. It's not bound to anything, right? That that answer. You know, if we say you know, your answer right now, answer does not map to anything. Where is it? it says you see, it says your answer does not map to anything over here. Um, you know, meaning if I if I give it an initial value, uh, uh, no answer yet. Notice it says no answer yet and no answer yet here, right? Uh, so what we could do is that um, in the in the radio, right, we, we, could, we can bind the value of each one of these fields to an, an ng model, ng model, ng model, and say that this is bound to the answer field. Right? Both of these, both of these radio buttons, you know, whichever is selected. You know, whichever is selected, it will take the answer will take the value of whatever the value of that input field is, right? and then it should update here. So let's refresh. Okay, right now it has no answer yet, but if I click here, notice that it, it takes the value of that radio button. Right? So I can click on it. Notice that it's bound to both. Uh, no, notice that uh, so I'm clicking here, right? But down here is also because we're using the same name. It's kind of confused, right? Because it's uh, as a model is set to this input field, right? And each one has its own separate uh, model, so they could have different values, right? But because it has the same name, right? It's uh, it's confused, right? It doesn't know what to what to select, and we'll fix that a little later. Let me show you about uh, the multiple choice, which is very similar as well. For the multiple choice. Right, we can declare you know what your answer is, which is very similar to what we did earlier, right? No answer yet. Uh, and in the um, in the HTML, you know we could uh, render the the answer. We can say you know your answer answer. And then bind them to different values here, right? So each one could have a different value. The value for this might be a some token or some from some enumerated data type. All right, so this might be purple. Uh, this might be red. This might be blue. yellow uh, and then we're going to bind it to a model meaning a variable state variable and we'll call it question I mean answer and we'll map it to these okay so that when we refresh and we click on this notice that it grabs the value of, of what we selected make sense um, all right, excellent. So, so yeah, so this this uh, this just was um, 
We're going over how you know, radio buttons, uh, checkboxes behave very similar, uh, you know, how they, how they work, all right? 